Very tactical and fast last lap. Dwight, let's go back to you and Mike Conley. Well, as I said, in the sixth round, Michael Conley came up in second place. He had a number of good jumps that put him in contention for the silver medal. He was in second position, but he was behind the Soviet. Same thing as last week at the TAC meet. He was behind the Soviet going into the last round. This time, Conley is jumping first in the order. Technically, a great jump, especially the final phase of that jump, the jump phase. And he does get excited, doesn't he? Now, Michael Conley, again, he's such an aggressive, outstanding competitor. And that is really what it comes down to. Third of uh, six jumps, when it's time to really put the pressure on, Mike Conley always comes through. Quite strong. Charlie, this is right down to the wire. This is Oleg Protsenko of the Soviet Union, former world indoor record holder in the triple jump. Conley broke his record last week. But last week, Conley was jumping after Protsenko. So Protsenko had no chance to come back on Conley. This is Protsenko's last chance. He must jump further than 57-7 on this jump. He broke down in a step, that's it. Mike Conley is the world indoor champion in the triple jump on a final sixth round jump once again. Conley, just a competitive animal. Protsenko was going for it, he had to. This is his last chance. Good speed down the runway all day long, but you'll see here, he hits the board very, very well, but when he comes down off the first phase of his jump, which is the hop phase, he hits very hard, and his right leg collapses underneath him. No chance to complete the jump, and he knew that was the only chance he had. He has to settle for the silver medal. There's still two jumpers remaining, but they don't have a shot at Conley, do they? Not in my opinion. Uh, Michael has really stuck one out there, and I think the athletes realize that on this runway, that's a great jump for Mike Conley. All right, now if you qualify this runway, tell me what you mean by that. Well, I think they were having a lot of trouble in the prelims. Uh, there was a parts of the runway that were a little soft, and they were absorbing a lot of the energy from the athletes. They have secured and stabilized the runway a bit, but I feel that a lot of these athletes can't handle the speed. This runway is maybe the fastest indoor runway in the world. That's the feeling I'm getting from the triple jumpers and the pole vaulters.